Hello, Gemini. Yours is going to be really interesting because this is already to kind of pathway street. I'm doing a special Venus retrograde reading for October to November 1st of this year. Yay! Just to let you guys know, I am doing readings. All the information is in the description box below. You just hit me up in an email and I'll give you like additional information for whatever. Um, Seven of Swords. Someone being a little sneaky. Oh, that's Aquarius. That's Aquarius' sign. I just now saw that. Huh. That's kind of cool. But yeah, this is like... Okay, okay. I, I can read that kind of vibe. Like, not entirely speaking up about something. Like, keeping your mouth just a little bit quiet more than what you should. Like, you know, like a person who knows that they're guilty and they don't say anything. They just let other people ramble a little bit. Like, that kind of vibe kind of like someone's holding something back instead of just coming out with it anyway Jenna, we're gonna be doing a different spread two possibilities but I don't know if this is gonna like I have no idea how this is gonna work with you it's like I usually use two cards to like do whatever Ooh, failure can go either way though but yeah, I usually use like two different decks to clarify with your guys' anyway, so it's like double whammy. It's like someone's got a lot of worry on their brain. Now, this, now these cards want to start flipping. They didn't flip for anybody else so far. Two, three. Okay, no whammies. All right, let's see what we got for you, Gemini. So the first three cards we got. Oh, there's. If someone feels a little trapped with a lot of interference, a lot of like distraction, a lot of mental anguish, I feel like, like a lot of thoughts in your head. Eight of Swords. Then we got lack of a start over here. Or even lack of, like, a lack of maybe even sexual encounter? I don't, I don't know why. And <laughs> not as successful as what one thought they would be. Like, this is Six of Pentacles. It deals with balance and, like, giving and receiving. And I feel like that's not the situation here. It isn't as you're not reaping the rewards you think that you should be earning. Well, over here, it feels like something didn't get started. Like, the fire burned, but then it went, pfft, right? Or it's out of control. Like, it's coming down and spreading everywhere, causing a lot of chaos. So on this side, we got four... Ah, you calm down. We have, ooh, replica offer, right? That's what I'm calling it. Like, if it was right side up, it'd be genuine, but this is like a copy not the not uh, not the authentic thing like a fake a replica right it, it it like it looks odd to me upside down but when it's right side up it doesn't look off to me like an artist like like if i were to draw something and i looked at it from like a reverse angle in a mirror or like upside down that i would notice how fucky the patterns are and i feel like it's the same way with this and i don't know why but i feel like this is replica like not an authentic offer on this side, we have possibly a missed opportunity of some sorts, or not something not ending up not what you thought it'd be. None of these cups are overflowing with anything you really want to drink. Then on this side, we have with this not so real offer is satisfaction, happiness, abundance, um, a happily ever after like there's even the Sephiroth tree in the background too and over here we have someone not being as kind or as nurtured or even as motherly as they should be with the Empress Reverse like very cold kind of shunning certain people right and then on this final part of the side here is a Queen of Disc, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, possibly a woman, someone who she doesn't really she doesn't look like she like she doesn't look like she's really interested in turning her head to see who's looking at her. 
Like she's got her goat there, and if it's someone, it, the goat knows that it won't, that she won't like. It'll probably just go and headbutt it, because it's got the headbutts. <laughs> she's over here looking at all of this land, being like, "This is my land. Anything I look at is mine, and I will claim it." She holds her scepter brilliantly. She sits on her throne casually. She holds her discs up creatively. Like, she's very much set in um, how she presents herself, because that really looks like an uncomfortable way to sit. But that's okay. She's also... I'm kind of surprised she has a wand. I mean, I noticed that, like, a lot of the Earth Sign cards in this deck have wands, but it, it, for me, it's, like, weird that she has one. But I guess that would represent her passion. And look at the top of it. A nice, pretty crystal, right? She's got a, she's got a lot of skill, I feel like. And she's really, she could be really, really stuck up, too, probably. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I mean, if it's Earth sign, it probably is. So, you know, that's just, but it looks like she could be really stuck up. Like, this is still all mine. Like, look at those horns. It's like a drag queen. <laughs> like, all exaggerated, just kind of show off how awesome she can be without saying a fucking word, you know? That, that, like, I, I, like, that's what I feel when I'm looking at her in this, because I'm just now noticing all this stuff. Like, she's got a pet goat that she gets to ram people. How is that not awesome? Just be like, man, just right in the nuts, you know? That's, that's brilliant to me. <laughs> Maybe you're trying to get to that position where you feel, like, successful or whatever. Or you can be dealing with an earth sign, too. Oh, and on um, this one is... Misfortune with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. There's stagnation. They're stalling. Like something isn't going. It's supposed to be ah, sorry, Sagittarian energy, but it's not moving anywhere. I never know what you Gemini's. It's very crazy. Oh, just so you guys know, because I'm not sure. I can't remember if I told you guys or not. Um, I am Prego. With a baby. And I think it's a Gemini. <laughs> and I think it affects my, um... Not only my card reading, but how I react to everyday life. Because it's like... I want to talk to people, but I want everyone to leave me the fuck alone. If that makes sense. Oh. Here are the first two cards. Right here. I don't know why... Well, no, I was shuffling. I wasn't done yet. Um, you want some... Clear vert... Mmm... Three of Wands is like completion, or seeing what goes in and comes out. Like, you feel like if you put the work in, you should be able to get back, but it's like... This could be Pisces. Could also be Cancer, but it's like... Some of the vibration isn't as balanced as what you think it is. Like, Moon's like kind of being fucky with stuff, right? And it's like causing a radioactive glow where I think that's a dude. No, that's a bug in a rock, I think. A bug in a rock, right? <laughs> but like, yeah, it's like you're looking to com I feel like you're looking to communicate something, but it's not on the same vibration. Or you're trying to get something, but it, it isn't working out for some reason. Like, maybe emotions are high, or maybe like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe like something's getting communicated all fucky, and you, and you don't get it yet, or you don't see it yet, or or maybe you're just trying to talk to somebody who you can't exactly like match vibrations or whatever with. Like what they say is confusing sometimes, or what you say is confusing to them, and it's just kind of like you really don't know how to talk to each other or whatever. Or maybe you're just trying to. Get in a vibration where you're, um... I don't know, like... That's that's a weird one to... It's like someone wants to... Get something... Like, you know, three of wands, right? You put something in to see if your ships are coming in or going out the way you want them to. Like, investment, you know, like... That emotional attachment, like you're... Putting something in and then you're getting something out of it. Kind of vibe, like balance almost. not counting those. Like, asking for balance. Three can be about balance sometimes, but it's like... Ugh. 
Maybe not this time. <laughs> Failure reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe not a total failure, just it didn't work this time. Yeah. No whammies. Okay. So, on the bottom part of this, we have... Some sort of relationship didn't work out, maybe? Or something didn't happen? Like, that's cancer sign, I think. So maybe there is, like, some emotional attachment, or maybe you were in a relationship, and you are close to someone, and it didn't work out. So then it, like, caused a little bit of mental problems, or a little bit of mental anguish, and there was maybe an issue of it starting up, and then there was just, like, false offer happiness because this like love thing goes right here like maybe somebody was like not entirely offering a relationship of sorts and it's bothering them because it was a false start because it wasn't really like maybe somebody tried to get attached to somebody but they weren't giving a genuine offer Maybe it backfired? I don't know. <laughs> like, Gemini, yours was always... Huh. Huh. I am not sure... Hey, I'm not entirely sure... What? to make of that it's like okay let's just move on and maybe i'll figure it out from there because i can't keep speculating just on one when i don't see the whole story right right with this i feel like missed opportunity at a luxury which is why there's a lack of success i think with this uh, ah seven of cups the botch the botch debauchery like I have no idea what debauchery means I just know it means naughty naughty <laughs> cause of, like the whole FNAF thing that I was obsessed with for a while never played that game but it was interesting to watch everyone figure out the lore until it wasn't interesting anymore uh okay so There were options on this. The, all the options were kind of poisonous, and now they're not really options anymore. It, like, it's kind of weird that like two cups are reversed on the same levels. You know, like this one, the emotions weren't healthy. I feel like, and this one is like they weren't either there or someone wasn't completely honest with it. or withheld from, like, offering a cup, I guess? Because, you know, it, it's taking two fish to fill up the cup so it pours over, and I feel like maybe somebody didn't get that cup. And now there's nothing but, like, shade cups on this side. We got Scorpio's sign in this, too. Like, they're going to poison the fuck out of you. <laughs> okay. So, with this satisfaction over here, this abundance, this happiness, there was a judgment call. Someone made the right judgment or something ended up being fair. Could be a Libra. This is this Libra's card. On this side, with the, what is this? The Empress, where someone is mean, is nurturing or kind. Prince of Wands, which could also be the King of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, riding in like an asshole, <laughs> just coming in to like, like look at all of this around, you think that's dirt? No, those are eyeballs, those are all eyes, like all eyes are on him, all eyes are on this chariot he rides in with, with his giant lion as his thing, he doesn't even need to hold it. It's just wrapped around his wrist, and he's just like, look at how glorious I look. 
naked with this flamingo stick. You will all worship me on this glorious day. You know? Fire, like, temper, like... Definitely coming in. Like, may maybe even, like, to either be the center of attention or to, like, I don't know, like, like, definitely charging through. Definitely coming to, um, show off or become something or whatever. I'm not sure, though. With this final card on this side, we have a lack of completion with this Queen of Discs right here. Like, it would have been... Like, a lack of completion, like, it didn't get finished, or you didn't feel like it would work? Maybe you thought there would be some discomfort in the home, or whatever, when it dealt with this Queen of Discs? And on this side, we have someone hanging around, even though they don't want to they're like at a crossroads and here's the wheel of fortune saying there's a lot of stagnation which is why there's a little bit uh, this knows that's why success is a little bit upside down <laughs> and now you're just hanging out when you should be making a decision like almost martyr like it like jesus christ pose right like a martyr syndrome or something Like, someone went for, like, toxic, bad emotions, and, like, then they rode in just to martyr themselves? I guess because maybe they feel like they missed an opportunity to be... No, it's like something didn't satisfy them, and they stopped being nurturing for a minute, but that caused stagnation. It caused... Something. It caused something not to move with the Wheel of Fortune. Here's a replica of an offer of happiness dealing with a queen of this. Either she offered it, or like maybe you were dealing with it, or maybe that's how you were acting. Like maybe you were going to offer stability. It, but the offer was a replica. It wasn't real. And here's like someone really not offering their emotions, but that was the right choice because something wouldn't have been completed. Because this was a false start. But this was unsuccessful, too, so it's just like, mmm, what do you do with this? Pull three cards for each side, and three advice cards, and then we'll be done. Did I flip one? No. Not yet. I should tell my husband to bring some food home. Okay, we got first one. Um, a lot of disappointments. They're all empty and upside down. They even make a pentacle. That's kind of cool. Like, it deals with Earth. Like... Rea like maybe something's setting in and becoming like a foundation for something because the pentacle is like for earth or it represents the earth right or it can even represent all five elements whatever the fifth one is um there's a lack of completion here there's something that didn't end right and there's a little bit of some fruit to bear that's rotting as it's, like, ripening, right? And then here's something that you, a little bit of, like, pressure you're trying to get over. Like, maybe you felt burdened with this situation, but you're letting go of it now. Or it's, it's not as bad as what it was. Oh, there it is. And then we got someone 
gain some control, maybe in Aries. But there is a bit of a heartbreak situation in all of that. With the Three of Swords reversed, like someone's still kind of like maybe living out a heartbreak a little bit. And here is Capricorn Taurus Virgo, Knight of Swords, holding up his shield, slowly walking in, riding in on his horse. Looking to the past. Could be the same person right here, too. And they might be keeping their guard up even more. Maybe they aren't coming with something. Or maybe you were expecting something from them, but they're moving slower than what you wanted them to. And then they have the art card or temperance reverse. Someone got impatient. Someone didn't think something would mesh. Some sort of combination didn't work out. Like maybe kind of like a concoction, right? Because she's just pouring shit in. Like she's got a pencil and a cup. And it's all going in there. And maybe it's like, you know, it didn't make a... Uh, maybe it didn't make a health potion like in Skyrim. It just failed. There, but there was a lack of patience there. There was no compromise. And now someone's living it out in their head. Very badly. With cruelty. Nine of swords reversed. Kind of like it's staying there and like it's just dripping blood. Going up though. Like balloons. Like there's a lot of swiggles in the background. It's like almost fiery. Oh, and that's even got your energy, Gemini, because there's signs in there somewhere. So it's kind of like, you know, Kind of being bothered and stuck in your head with it. But that's what I got for you, Gemini. So I'll see you later. Bye.